What's up guys, this is your boy Modi back with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead step by step tap into these markets and make a lot of money. Keep watching. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I personally go ahead and look in these markets and how I personally trade in seven simple steps. So uh, let's get into it. So step number one. What I always do, I want to go ahead and identify the market structure, all right? I want to know what I am getting into. You just don't want to hop into a market just to hop in. You want to know what you're getting into, all right? So the first thing, you want to go ahead and look for market structure. Now, what do I mean by market structure? You want to know, are you going to a market that's going up or are you, are you in a downtrend of market, all right? It's really, really important to know, know that, all right? So, um, as we can see on GPUSD right here, we can see that this market is in the uptrend, all right? We can see that this market is going up. So, that just simply indicates to me that I'm going to be looking for only buy opportunities in this market. Now, step number two, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and identify liquidity, all right? You want to go ahead and identify the liquidity areas, all right? So, um, now, what do I mean by liquidity? All right, liquidity is the pool of money intentionally created to move the markets. All right, now how, where, how, and where can you find them? You can find these at equal highs, at equal lows, aka W's or M's, or when the market is moving sideways. All right, as we can see right here, that we can see this market right here, this zone right here, and we can see that this market is moving sideways right here. Let me go ahead and draw it up. We can see the market right here is moving sideways. So this area right here is our liquidity pool. Now, when I see this, how do I go? I go about this. What I what I always do, I just go ahead and just take my my, my trend line. I'll just go ahead and, and draw a line at these lows, and I'll go ahead and draw a line at the highs also. Now, when I do that, the next thing I do, I just go ahead and draw my money sign here, my dollar signs up here, so I can see where money is actually at. All right, step number three, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and identify the institutional candle. Now, what is, is the institutional candle? The institutional candle is the candlestick that banks or liquidity provider they must use so they can move price. All right, this is the candle that, that you will see majority of the time. They, they buy to sell or they sell to buy. Now, this is a candle that goes ahead and targets the equal highs and equal lows, that sweeps out the equal highs and equal lows. And not only that, that goes ahead and hit people's stop losses. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you ever took a trade, all right? You was in profit, you walked away, now you came back and your stop loss hit. 30 minutes later, an hour later, you see that the market actually went in your direction and hit you take profit. Now, let me know in the comments down below that ever happened to you, all right? So the institutional account is, is what caused all of that, all right? So always look for the institutional account. Now, where can you find it, all right? So as, as we know that this market, we're looking for buy. So obviously the, the liquidity has to be at the bottom, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and just delete all of this one at the top right here, all right? I'm gonna delete all of that. All right, so liquidity at the bottom right here. So it's money down here because we are in the uptrend. So now, now we see this happening. Now we can see that we've seen a massive push to the downside, all right? We've seen a massive, massive push to the downside right here. All right, so now this right here is what we call the institutional candle. All right, this, this one right here is what we call the institutional candle. This is the candle that comes go ahead and, and, and sweep out the retail equal lows and equal highs. This one right here is what we call the institutional candle. What it did, it came down, and not only it came down, it came down and sweep out all of these lows right here. So it takes money. Always keep in mind that banks always have to sell in order to buy. All right, let's see this down push happen before this push happen. All right, if they're going, if they're going for buys, they, what they do is they always go up before they go down. So always keep this this thing in, in mind. After you, you identify your trend, then you identify your liquidity area. Now, the next thing you want to go and identify is the institutional account. Now, step number four, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and identify break of structure. Now, what is break of structure? Now, as we can see right here, all right, we can see we saw that this market was going down. Now, that to, to, the, to the average person, all right, 
they will say this market is going down, all right? Now, the market left some history right here, all right? Now, that history, it has to do something in order to break that history, to make that a false move and go do the right move, all right? So, we can see right here this market went down, and then when it went up, right, we see it in this area right here, this zone right here, all right? This zone right here, what it did, right here, it came and it broke structure, all right? This, this is the area where market came and it broke these highs right here, all right? This market came and it broke these highs right here. When once the market came up here, this is where it broke structure, all right? It broke structure at this area right here, all right? Just keep it simple for yourself. Don't, don't make it too hard for yourself. Simple things, all right? As we can see right here, market, it, this thing is in the uptrend, looking for buys. Now we saw everybody consolidate. This is where liquidity is. And then market went down institutional candle. Market came up, it broke structure, all right? Now, step number five, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and identify the mitigation play. What is the mitigation play? Um, you can call it as a pullback also, but I personally call it mitigation, all right? So, trading language, mitigation. What is the mitigation play? The act of price coming back to the previous institutional calendar, this is where smart money closes their open position. Now, I want you to understand this, all right? The banks, they have to buy to sell, all right? Now, always keep in mind, I want, I want you just to click in right here, right now. now. Now, take a look at this. Where did the institution start playing? The institution start playing right here, this zone right here. Where's my brush? I can draw it out and show it to you, right here. The institution start playing right here. They start their play right here. It's, everything started right here, right there, right? Now, when Mario came up, Always keep in mind, the banks have to come and close this drawdown position that they open right here. Because why? Because they drove price to go down there. Now they have to make price go back to that area so they can go ahead and close the open position that they have. All right? So what happened, you can see that this market came back down. All right? Where did it come back to? All right? Now this is where people find they, they, the thing. All right? Sniper entry. Mario came back to where it initially opened the institutional candle. All right, the previous institution candle that you see that you contain, Mario came back down to that zone right here. So anything that was in this zone right here, anything that was in this zone right here, from here, all right, anything that was in here was, was gonna be your entry zone, all right? Anything in here was your entry zone. All right, that's the mitigation place. The act of price coming back to the previous institutional candle. This is where the institution was playing. Now look what happened. Price came back to that area right there again. All right? Now step number five, which one? You want to go ahead and identify your entries and your exit points. All right? So after price mitigates, right? Once price mitigates, that's, that's where your entry is going to be at. Now, now take a look at this. We was not going for a long position here. Entries right there. Stop loss going to be right below the previous candle that we see to the left right here, I like to come on a lower time frame so I can go ahead and, sh and have a better visual on it, all right? I'll, I'll put my stop loss, I'll put my, uh, my entry is gonna be right there, and my stop loss is gonna be right below this low right here, all right? Why here? Because, take a look at it. This was a previous resistance, the market will happen, you can see the market came and broke through it, all right? So now, as you can see in these little candlesticks, price started playing around here and it formed into support. So I'm going to go ahead and put my stop loss here and then where would I go put my entry? I will, uh, my, my entry is going to be right here where price mitigates and then my, my take profit is going to be right back at these highs right here. That's going to be my first take profit. Alright? That's going to be my take profit. Entry is going to be here. Stop loss is going to be down here. And take profit is going to be up here. Step number seven, last but not least, you always want to make sure your risk to reward, alright? Risk to reward is always a one to three. Alright? You don't want no one to one, a one to two. You always want your risk to reward to be a one to three. Alright? It's really, really important to have that. I'm going to make a, another video going in depth why risk to reward is important in this game. As you can see right here, this risk to reward was a one to four. I'm risking 24 pips to gain 109 pips, all right? I'm risking 24, 24 times um, four, 
that is about 100 and something all right so you always want to make sure your risk to reward is at least a one to three or higher so over here could be our first targets our second target could be up, up right above these highs right here all right and if you if you are a person that that, that love to hold trade like a swing trader you can you, you can you, you could easily just go ahead and go ahead and target this imbalance right here all right so that is pretty much how I go about it all right so if you found this video informative drop a comment down below drop a like down below all right and go ahead and drop YouTube video ideas like what kind of videos what kind of content do y'all want me to make and y'all want to see go ahead and drop in the comment down below and if you if you know that you would love to learn more about trading no don't hesitate to hit me up my IG at Moni the Goldie, right? So much love. Peace out.